Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, it's a bright and sunny time here in Los Angeles, and I hope wherever you are, the sun is shining upon you and that you are feeling absolutely wonderful, healthy, and strong, and it can be strong in anything that you want. Today's message is going to be what we manifest and how we stand up. So as you know, spring is how we uh, move forward in life and spring forward. So uh, like the change in time for so many who uh, there is a change in time and we have to put the clocks forward. There are people in the world that they never change time. So what is this time within us and how do we move forward in life? Hi, said John. I just wanted to share and talk about this glory this glory of how we keep up our emotions how we spring forward how we shed all the weight and everything and truly stand up stand up for what you believe stand up for who you are stand up to bullying stand up to a lot of things this past weekend i had the opportunity to be among incredible women, women who have come together for a cause, for a, a reason, and it is um, what we call it, Shiro's. And that's how it was because it is for a show that is to start. And uh, yes, I am one of them and who is going to have a show of her own, which is called Heal Talk with Lisa, where I will be interviewing uh, women who have overcome their own extreme challenges or trauma to where they are today and as a success, as uh, making a difference and making a difference in other people's lives. So if you are one of them or know someone who you think is the right person to be interviewed, by all means, message me, DM me, call me and let me know. I would love the opportunity to speak to you. So let us stand up. Let us spring forward. Um, why do I talk about it? Because even my book, Stand Up to Slim Down, we were talking about this over the weekend. And what what is it? They asked me, what does, why did you call it Stand Up to Slim Down? The reason for that is because most of my clients that I work with as a clinical hypnotherapist and stress management consultant, we burden ourselves so we load up so much like an atlas that puts everything on our shoulders and we wonder why there is so much of a heaviness so in order for you to drop the weight just like instead of walking on eggshells i want you to break this egg to break down the the barriers to break down the limitations, to break down that shield, that cover, so that just like a, a chicken that hatches out of that egg, you too can hatch and break the barriers, not boundaries, but barriers. And most of the barriers that I am talking about is self-created. So yes, just like the hen that sits and hatches that egg and um, the egg is there and protected, sat, harbored, kept warm, just like anything else in our life. It, it takes from like spreading that seed to taking care of the soil making sure the soil has the water, the perfect lighting, perfect heat. I know I'm speaking in metaphors, but it's 
of realizing that your history and what you have experienced does not defy who you are today. That although you can create boundaries, you can break down that shield, that eggshell, so that you can come out. And when you do come out of that, I'm right here to stand beside you so that you can stand up for yourself. But what does stand up for you mean? You see, sometimes we build so much that it becomes heavy and burdensome because of guilt factors, because of shame factors, because of the things that you may have not experienced, not experienced, but expressed, that you have suppressed so much that that barrier has become so thick that you can't even hack out of it. And for some of you ladies, you walk on eggshells. Maybe you have walked on eggshells for a long time. And now you don't remember how to walk on your own. Just smoothly to flow. To glide. So recognizing that a part of your history, all your experiences, they're just for you to turn that page and remember it, read it as a reference, truly as a reference, and recognize why you put that shield upon yourself. You see, a part of my book, by the way, what I would like you to do is if you would like to ha uh, get this book, which I have only uh, just a handful left because we're going to do the new edition and everything is like, you just pay for the shipping. You can text 818-221-2797. Text stand now. And what I will do is send you the book for the mere shipping cost. Just pay for the cost of shipping and handling. And the book is for you for free. And I'll even autograph it for you. And I know we shipped out last time I did this, we had over 20 people that we shipped it out to. So if you want a copy of this book to stand up and slim down, and it's not necessarily only for weight, it's recognizing what emotional weight is, what emotional burdens you've been holding on to, that you can empower yourself by just going down that lane, that lane of your history, experiences, the way you eat, the way you talk, the way you stand up. What was eating, emotional eating is what you have been suppressing. And it's just like a workbook taking you down memory lane to understand the programming of you about food. What does food mean? I had a client that constantly told me, you know, I love to eat. I love food. I just enjoy, enjoy to sit and eat good food, right? And yet she wanted to drop weight, to shed the weight. Now, after six weeks of working it, listening to the audio recording for drop weight, and even listening to audio recording, which is this music and subconscious and the affirmations that is subliminal, and yet she can hear the words, the empowering words with music and everything, and she moves, she says, I love this. After six weeks, she's come to say, I didn't realize that now I'm eating small little bites and I am not hungry. Even though I love food, I'm not as hungry as before. 
yeah that she loves listening to the audio recording as she walks she even likes walking and recognizes that her attitude about food the attitude about uh, the whole perspective with her children with her husband has changed it's not that it has changed about other people it has changed about herself yesterday she had uh, our sixth appointment and she says lisa i, I don't understand this but what i what happened was on sunday i had a lot of people and i put those pants on and they i could zip it up and i had not been able to wear this in a year and i haven't done any exercises she says even my niece came and hugged me and said i look beautiful which i haven't done anything and yet she has you see standing up for who you are does not mean that you walk around oh, I, I am standing up but her self-esteem has changed she likes herself she's doing things that it's about internal liking because if we if you do not like who you are and you're not standing up for your own values ethics then how can we truly stand up for others how can we stand up for something we believe in if we're not believing in ourselves i hope this makes sense hi mark how are you dear values that you believe in i want you to get to know you you know this part of this stand up to slim down book is that it's right here being here means you prioritize your own needs and desires even if it means you have to get out of your comfort zone to put yourself first just like being in the plane right being in the plane the trip that i took everyone sitting and it was beautiful it's like yes it's COVID, and we're at the hopefully tail end of it and everyone had a different attitude there's a, a mutual respect for people the way we stand when they were talking getting on the plane you know i have this thing when i get on a plane I truly appreciate and I've always been this because I come from a family that has been in the airlines and everything and I always greeted the stewardess and if I saw the door open the cockpit door open to the pilot I say thank you and as we were leaving as we landed said thank you to the stewardess and both of them and I said thank you very much for a great flight happy Easter I'm walking out because it was Easter morning at 9 30 when I arrived back home and I saw the door to the cockpit open and the pilot was there I put my head just leaned over and I said thank you for a great landing and have a great flight home you know I don't know where his home is but if I just spring this one beautiful message talking about springing forward it's springing a message of a delight a joy something positive something affirmative it it makes a difference it makes a difference in their life it makes a difference in my life and recognizing that if we can make one person happy the same way as they do everything to safeguard our life and they stand there and they say if you do this and everything right put the mask on first you have to breathe oxygen before you can help someone else because if you're down there is no way you can help another person and the same thing goes if you're not standing up for your own ethics and values then how can you do it for someone else
So it was beautiful when my client said the same thing and she said, I don't know how this is working because she was fighting it for the first three sessions. It's like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Well, you know what? It's true, you don't know what you don't know. But when you come to trust, trust and believe in yourself and trust in my methods, trust in uh, the work, that it's happening internally, trust your body, that as you shift perception, that's what happens. Even creating this, you know, the vision board, stepping into your vision board, what you are doing is saying, this is what I want. I speak in metaphors, but vision, vision board is another metaphor that you sit and you say, what is it that I want in my life? What do I want to create in my life? And it can be in health, it can be in mind-body connection, it can be where you want to live, how you want to live, your success, your income, your abundance that you create. And when you put this vision board, you're already telling your mind, your psyche, your body, your heart, every aspect of you says, is that what you want? I'll bring it to you. And then you put your vision board somewhere that you visually see it. And one of the things that I ask my clients is you write the affirmations of what you want. You repeat it daily, just like a prayer, just like a, a mantra. It becomes a part of your life every day in every way, right? This is, and you instill and you place what you want so that you can stand up and stand in and step into it. It's like show up because it's show time. I have be coming to Facebook Live for the past four and a half years, every single Tuesday. And no matter what I am doing, this half an hour is blocked for you. That may be one of the things that I say. It's breaking barriers. It's breaking that eggshell so you're not walking on it. Drop it and walk away, drop it, release it, and know that sometimes you have to hack it and push, push through the boundaries to break it from the inside. From the outside, I can make it comfortable for you. I can make it right for you, but it is from the inside that shift happens for you to say yes to you. This is what I want. You can create the vision board, but if you are not living it, seeing it, and doing something with it every single day, it doesn't mean anything if it is in the closet and put aside. Even though it sparked something, but being in the closet, it's not part of your life. If you are not living this, if you're not standing up for your own values and ethics, if you don't like someone gossiping, then look at yourself. And if you do speak about someone, do you have the audacity to say the same thing in their face? If you don't like something, take a look, be your own mirror. You see, light shines upon us when there is a reflection of this kind of a light or when you look in the mirror and you become your own light. When you look in the mirror and you like yourself and you say, hello. And a part of showing up is when you come to like your body and it doesn't matter what size, 
I speak about Queen Latifah and I say, do you think Queen Latifah stands in front of the mirror and negates her body or Serena Williams? It doesn't matter the size. It matters what you feel about you, what you feel about your body. You know, nowadays, I talk about this with my client and I said, Victoria's Secret has changed their advertising and marketing because there are women with full body and they truly enjoy who they are. We don't have to be size two or size zero. That's not the norm anymore. As a matter of fact, if you didn't know, Marilyn Monroe used to be size 12. And she embodied the sensuality. So it's, it's looking at you and saying, I matter, truly matter. So I want you to stand up and say, I'm ready to slim down. I am ready to say, I'm prioritizing being deeply connected with my dreams, my purpose, my desires. What is it that I want? What do you want? How do you want to show up? Not only for yourself, for your partner, for your children, for your family. What are your core values? Become more connected with all that you are. Yes. As a matter of fact, I just saw a message come through and it says, what was the text message? number and it is 818-221-2797 just text stand now one word stand now and i'll be more than happy to ship this book to you and even autograph it with your name i want every single one of us to come to accept and appreciate who we are and for that let us spring forward, truly spring forward and recognize that in order for you to shed and drop the weight, be motivated, stay motivated and stop that emotional eating, eat, being aware of what you are eating and cut down your sugars, right? and stop overeating and when you shift negative habits and recognize that what you want is far greater for you to be whatever it is that you want to be that's the most important thing i also posted something on my feed which is about Rise Above Summit. I will be speaking this afternoon. As a matter of fact, I want you to click uh, on the Rise Above Summit. I put a, uh, a link there. The summit has already begun. There are incredible, powerful speakers. Please join us. There are so many speakers with incredible messages. I want you to be part of this. And learn from others even if you learn one thing from each speaker that in itself is wonderful it's free it doesn't cost you anything it's for the next three days today tomorrow and the next day so it goes all the way to thursday and you can just check the speakers and look at their bio look at what their titles of their talk is and just sit, it, you, if you have just 15 minutes, 20 minutes to listen to each and every one of them, please do. Mine is 
this afternoon, April uh, 6 at 7 p.m. So go ahead. The link is right there on my uh, on my feed and click in, come in. You can even become a VIP and become a part of the group. And I look forward to seeing you. I am honored to be a part of the summit and I have been asked to be a part of more summits and I will let you know about all of that. So until next week, spring forward, my dear. Stand up for who you are and recognize the strength within you and the sound might and the loving heart that you have. That you can be an inspiration, not only to that younger version of you, but for everyone in your life. This is Lisa. I hope today's message made a difference and made an impact. That you can make a shift from what was to what will be by evoking the past, the history, to create a new story of what you desire and embrace who you are so that you can evolve to all your heart's desire. I am here for you. All you have to do is reach out to me. And until next week, I bid you goodbye. May God bless you and the universal light surround you. Bye-bye. Bye, Scott. Bye, Sedaja. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.